Everyone loves treasure hunts. This week, I'm going to show you how to make an audio treasure hunt box. Here's how it works. The treasure hunters are given a code. When they enter this code into the box, it will tell them a clue as to where to find the next code. This continues until eventually they arrive at the final location and find their present. To make it work, I combined an Arduino microcontroller with an Adafruit wave shield. This enables the Arduino to play sound files. The wave shield is sold as a kit, so the first thing that you have to do is assemble it. Once everything is soldered together, the wave shield can be attached to the Arduino by connecting the corresponding header pins. Now you need to set up the software for the wave shield. You can download a copy of the Wave HC library at the link in the description box. Then copy the Wave HC folder into the libraries directory of your Arduino program folder. Once that is set up, you can download a copy of the Arduino code and upload it to your board. Next you need to record the audio tracks that will be the clues in the treasure hunt. You can make the clues as simple or as complicated as you want. The Wave Shield can only play audio files in the WAV format, so if your sound recorder saves files in a different format, you need to convert them. Then, copy the files onto an SD card and plug it into the board. The next step is to mount all the parts into an insulated project enclosure. Start by drilling holes for each of the six buttons. Fit the buttons into place and secure them with their mounting hardware. Then I connected one side of each button with jumper wires. These were connected to the ground pin on the board. The other side of each button was connected to the analog input pins. Once the buttons are hooked up, you can insert all the other parts. First, slide the speaker down into the bottom of the housing. To help avoid accidental shorts, I put a piece of paper over the back of the speaker to insulate it. Then fit in the boards and the battery power supply. Close out the housing and your audio treasure hunt box is complete. Wrap it up like a regular present and include a note with instructions to get things started. Now just hide the rest of the clue codes at each location and set up the actual present at the end. This is a great way to add fun to any kind of gift. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.